The program you're about to see is made possible through the financial support of people like you. We hope you'll join the thousands of people who make our programming possible. Become an In the Life member by clicking on the Donate Now button on our website. Our state is pretty difficult sometimes. I think the hardest part is navigating life just in general. I think it's important that people know that I'm gay and that I have children and that I have a life and a job that needs to be protected. This is where I am and this is how I feel and this is the way I like to be. I have a five-year-old son. He's very proud of me. He makes sure every, no matter where we go that everybody knows that I'm his dad. Ohio is home to 11 million people. Like other Americans, Ohioans are struggling to work, live, and find the American dream. Our nation must defend the sanctity of marriage. I'm in Ward 62. It's a battleground within the battleground of Ohio. Ohio legislators not only banned same-sex marriages, but barred unmarried state employees from receiving benefits for domestic partners. The state of Ohio woke up and said, nuh-uh, not here. In 2004, Ohio voters passed a constitutional amendment banning same-sex marriage. Five years ago, Ohio was listed 51st out of the states, including D.C. in the mix the worst state for LGBT rights. Transgender people don't have the right to change their birth certificate. There's been battles over domestic partner registries. There was a piece of legislation introduced five years ago to ban adoption. We're starting at the very basic kind of stuff. You know, the discussion around gay marriage is sort of like, um, we'll talk about that once we have the right to work and once we have the right to live. You know, I've asked people that are uh, common sense, sort of normal folks, do you think it's right to fire somebody solely on the basis of, of being gay or lesbian or transgendered? And most, you know, decent people say, of course not. But they have no idea that in Ohio it's actually legal and you can get away with firing somebody solely on that basis. Equality Ohio, we refer to it as the phoenix rising out of the ashes of our marriage vote in 2004. There was a group of activists from across the state that came together and said, what are we doing in Ohio? What, uh, what should we be doing in Ohio? It's a brand new organization, really, trying to organize an entire state and build relationships with legislators to, to begin that education about why is this important? How does this affect people? Um, how does this make Ohio look to the rest of the country and the rest of the world? I was a corporate trainer for nine years, and uh, then I managed some large portrait studios. I thought it would be easier to get a job. Um, I have lots of experience in, in totally different fields. I have management, you know, behind me and things of that sort. And as soon as I started transitioning, I couldn't, I can't find anything. Ohio is only one of three states that will not correct a birth certificate for transgender individuals, which makes it very difficult for people when it comes to employment because they're supposed to show all this identification, and if their identification, say their driver's license says male, and their birth certificate says female, there's incongruency. My last job, I lost uh, because of some complications with restroom usage. Um, now normally in public, I'll just go into the men's restroom and have no problem. Um, but unfortunately, when you get hired, at least uh, in my state, uh, you have to supply a birth certificate, which is not amended. Um, so it does state female. Um, so then they start delegating where you can and cannot go to the bathroom. Um, you know, I was, they, they had made one in the basement of a building uh, available for me. Unfortunately, it was um, inoperable. So I left the, uh, the workplace to use the restroom off off base or what have you, and uh, um, when I came back, I had clocked in too late, so I got fired. Um, and this is after they warned me not to use the men's bathroom. 
the discrimination that's going on in the state of Ohio against LGBT people and the lack of protection is so basic that people are living in poverty because of the discrimination, which I don't think most people have thought about. Most elected officials don't really think about until you bring it to their awareness. Bills for third consideration. In response to the lack of protections, legislation was introduced in the Ohio State House. We're talking about House Bill 176, which is the Gay, Lesbian, Non-Discrimination Act, and this bill covers employment, credit, and housing. Businesses know that discrimination is bad for business. We've tried to make the argument that why would you want to discriminate against anyone? Uh, Ohio, like many states, are having some tough economic times, and it also ranks number one uh, in the country of 18 to 40-year-olds leaving uh, their state. So why would you want to put up, you're not welcome here kind of sign to anyone? But conservatives opposed the bill on moral grounds. When you get down to the root of House Bill 176, it is about forcing acceptance of a lifestyle that many people disagree with. And shame on you for thinking you know better than other people in this state what their moral value should be. What really helped was having folks come before the legislature, even before we were uh, allowed to have hearings uh, this, this last session. Um, there were lobby days that uh, were organized by the advocates in the GLBT community. And to have people come in and talk to legislators to, to tell their individual stories, I think one of the best examples of that was Jimmy Beal. I taught high school. I taught government and law and psych and, you know, classes that really prepared kids for the rigors that were associated with college. I had, in fact, just had my final evaluation and I had just been offered a three-year contract. Two days later, was called in to the principal's office and told that despite just being offered a contract, I would be non-renewed for the next school year. I would be fired. Uh, and I can tell you today that I remember exactly how that felt then. I was absolutely stunned. She was fired just because it was a suspicion that she was a lesbian. Uh, and this was a woman who was uh, highly regarded by her peers, by her students. And I knew that actually uh, more and more personally because uh, I was a Facebook friend of hers eventually and I saw the comments from the, t uh, the students who she had had in the past who were now in college who were writing things about how proud uh, they were uh, of her and what she had done and what she stood for. Um, so those stories started to really make a difference I think in, in legislators' uh, minds and, and they got it. I rise today in support of House Bill 176. We should stop discriminating. We should support this bill. And I know that there are many people who may be disappointed by my support for this legislation. And I come at this not as a Republican. I come at it as an Ohioan, and really more than that, just as a plain human being. The House passed HB 176 by a vote of 56 to 39. The bill is hereby passed. The bill is now in the Ohio State Senate. Ohio's Governor Ted Strickland has pledged to sign the bill into law if it passes the Senate. It's not going to be easy getting House Bill 176 through the Senate. The Senate will come to order. It's going to take Ohioans really kind of saying we're going to do the letter writing, we're going to do the contacting, we're going to, you know, get businesses talking to the senators, we're, you know, that we're going to actually do this kind of grassroots work that really needs to be done. We have to get more people out there to talk to their senators. It's the meeting the person that really makes the difference in whether bills get passed or not. Are you ready to move to Canada? Why are we still here? When are we moving to Canada? I mean, the kids have their roots here, their friends are here, their, you know, their school's here, and they don't want to, they don't want to leave, and they shouldn't have to. So, instead of leaving, we become part of the solution. Ohio is our home. I love Ohio, and I really love Cleveland. We believe that we will make this change. We're just like everybody else with regard to employment, public accommodation, housing, we need the same securities as everybody else does.
I want to be there when the whole state flips. When we see all of our rights, I want to be a part of that. I want to see that happen. I hope you enjoyed watching In the Life. Now in our 18th season, In the Life is the only independent voice for the LGBT community. Because we air on public television and the internet, we are not influenced by advertiser demands. But we can't do it alone. Please join us today by clicking on the Donate Now button on our website. As an In the Life member, you'll be producing television that really produces change.